first trimester. First of all, let me just say a massive congratulations. What a exciting and beautiful time you are in. And it can be, you know, really different for each individual. So whatever's going on for you, know that it is okay, right? So sometimes we can feel quite anxious and emotional and it can feel like there is a lot going on. And mostly this practice is geared towards really just being able to, to be with yourself and your baby and to connect to, we're gonna share a little bit of kind of gentle movements, all generally very safe, but always check with your GP if you have any concerns around this. Um, and then we're gonna finish with a, a relaxation because one of the, the big things that can really take people by surprise is the level of fatigue during first trimester. Uh, and, and that necessity for rest is so important. So giving yourself that time and, and really leaning into moments of rest and peace for yourself are really important. So we're just gonna start off really gently coming to hands and knees. And then just establishing yourself here. So you might like to take your hands a little bit wider, knees a little bit wider, just allowing yourself to play around a little bit here with the uh, distribution of weight. Maybe there's a little bit of shift from one side to the other. Just feeling out the body, noticing any areas of tension, any areas where you feel a little bit freer. And then if it feels okay, you might start to take a little bit of a gentle cat cow. So maybe the tailbone lifts, the belly softens down, and you draw your chest forward and through. And then the tailbone might tuck under as you round through the back body. And we'll kind of repeat moving through this. And you know, if you have a bit more energy, it might be that you go a little bit faster. But if you're just kind of working with your level of energy, maybe it's that slower kind of rhythm moving with your breath. Back and forth. And always just tuning in so we're refining our ability to listen into the body. Refining your ability to connect deeper with your baby and offering yourself a lot of compassion here, right? For whatever you're feeling. Knowing that it's okay. And then you might just walk your hands a little bit further forward, if that feels all right. Allow your chest to sink down in the direction of the ground. So make sure this feels okay in your shoulders. You could walk your hands a little bit further forward, allow your forehead maybe to come all the way to the earth. Maybe take a breath here to lengthen through the sides of the body. If you feel any kind of nausea or anything like that, you just gently come back up. And then we're gonna slowly start to walk the hands all the way back in. Okay. We'll extend back through that right foot. So we'll just get a little stretch out. You can broaden across the ball of the foot as you reach back through the center of the heel. We might find a little bit of movement here, just reaching back and forward, shifting weight forward and back. Noticing how that feels to your body. And then if it feels okay, you might float that foot off the ground. So you're a little bit of a balance there. Not needing to lift the leg too high up, keeping it to about hip level. So you feel that little engagement, you might feel a small little hug in of your lower abdomen. And then gently placing that knee all the way to the ground. We'll do the same on the other side, reaching back through left leg, just initially finding those little pulses, pressing back. Breathing in that, connecting to your breath, to your baby. Your baby already starting to develop, you know, its little limbs and fingers, skin, digestive system, brain in its first trimester. And then maybe floating that foot off the earth. Noticing how that feels, we're working a little bit into our glutes, also those muscles down the back line of the body. Just taking that little balance, noticing what it feels like just to be here. And then gently placing that knee all the way to the ground. 
We'll walk the hands all the way back. It feels okay to sit back to your heels, just here. And then taking one hand to the center of your chest and the other hand onto where you feel your womb space is. You might close your eyes for a moment here and just notice your breath. Breathing in and down towards your heart. Feeling as though that breath spills down into the space of your womb. Your body receiving those calming messages through that slowing down of your breath. And your baby also receiving those messages. Slow breathing deep into your belly. And then we'll gently start to blink the eyes open and walk the hands forward once again, all the way forward, back into this kind of tabletop shape. So you might come down onto your forearms here as we sort of give the wrists a little bit of a break. And then tuck your toes under, lift the knees all the way up so we come into this kind of variation of the downward facing dog. Again, if it feels like too much to be here, you just come back down to your knees. You might start to pedal out a little bit through the backs of the legs. This is strong work for the shoulders. So if you're feeling, you know, quite strong today, energetic, energetically good, you might be here for a little bit longer. Or choosing to gently drop the knees back to the ground whenever you need. So breathing in forearms. And then if you are dropping back down to the knees, you might just gently extend back through the right leg once again here. Give a little stretch out to the back of the leg, bring that knee back in, dropping the left leg back behind, giving a little stretch out there, and coming all the way back in. Coming back onto your hands and then sinking the hips back to the heels once more. This time we're going to walk the hands around behind, take the fingertips behind you. So it might be that your fingertips are pointing back or forward, whatever feels good. And then we'll take a little stretch out through the front body. So you might breathe into your belly, feel it expand forward. A little lift of the center of your chest, your heart upwards, maybe the gaze lifts. Gently release, walking the hands back through. We're going to take the hands onto the fronts of the thighs or towards the knees and then tucking the chin gently in towards center. Try to keep a sense of length through the back of the neck. As you breathe in, slide the hands up, the legs soft bend through the elbows as you draw the chest forward and through. Exhale, rounding through the back body. We'll do a couple rounds like that. Make sure you still feel good in your shins, your knees. You can always sit onto your bum if that feels better. And gently back through. Just finding that little bit of movement, that little bit of space, mobilizing through the spine. And again, if some of these movements don't feel good, they make you a little bit nauseous, you come to pause. Take a little moment here, just in stillness. Connecting back in, notice your breath, breathing through your nose. Feeling the breath move down through your center. And then we're gonna sit over onto your right hip so that you can sweep the legs out in front. And we'll come into this kind of uh, sitting upright position here. We're gonna take a little bit of movement through the ankles have your hands on the ground for a bit of support. A few rotations in one direction and then a few rotations in the other. Good, then gently come up onto the soles of your feet and then if it feels okay we're going to lift the hips just a little bit and take a little rock of the hips from side to side. So we're working our arms here a little bit Almost like imagine your pelvis is in a little hammock, kind of rocking your baby in your pelvic hammock. Okay, whenever it feels right, you gently drop the hips back down. And then take the feet as wide as you need. 
Place the forearms onto your knees and we'll take a few rotations into the ankle, uh, the wrist joint. Mm -hmm. A few times in one direction and then change in the direction. Just finding that little bit of movement. And then bring your knees back through together. Roll over to one side or the other, it doesn't matter which one. And then we're gonna just gently set up for a little rest here. I'm gonna use my pillow as a pillow. And then I quite like to spread this blanket just where my hip will be. So there's a bit of softness onto the ground. So coming down to lie onto your left hand side, you can stretch that right as your left arm away as you come to lying onto your side. Make sure this feels okay. You might rest one hand onto your baby, onto your womb space. As you close your eyes here, remembering that rest is so important, your body is doing so much at the moment. Working so hard to create a safe, nourishing home for your baby. You are at your most generous as you redistribute your own resources towards the growth and development of your baby. Remember, however you feel in this moment, it's okay. Everybody's journey is a little bit different. Each baby is a little bit different. Allow yourself to meet yourself with compassion, with kindness, allowing yourself to meet yourself with generosity as well. It's okay. Relaxing through your toes your feet, your ankles, relaxing your shins, your calf muscles, your knee, relaxing the back of the knee, the tops of the thighs, the backs of the thighs, relaxing your hips, Gently soften and release any tension through the torso or the back of the body. Relax around your shoulders, your arms, front and back. Relax your fingers palm of the hands, back of the hands. Allow your awareness to travel up the arms, back to your shoulders, your neck. Relax the back of the neck, throat. Relax your face, your jaw, your forehead. Relax the skin on the top of your head. Gently relaxing your whole body. No effort. time, you're welcome to stay here for as long as you need. And we'll, we'll very gradually start to make our way up using that top hand to push down. You might stretch out through that top leg to lift you up. Gather the knees in and come to a comfortable seat. Maybe the eyes are still closed with that kind of internal focus. Reconnecting once again, heart and womb. Open 
yourself thanks, honor, and respect. And I thank, honor, and respect you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them below. I look forward to seeing you soon.